Hi guys, welcome to another Divi Theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. This is another in our series of Divi for Beginners video. Today we're looking at the awesome Divi Accordion module by Roll Down a bit. I've got one here and it's a great way of getting information out there without using too much real estate. You can add as much or as little within these little accordion modules themselves. Now, one thing with an accordion that you want to remember is you're always going to have the top one open when the page loads. So I tend to use that for a title, which works out great. I use these often on client sites for frequently asked questions. Really nice little feature. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. And let's roll on down. I'm going to delete this section here. Blue tab for a section. And I'll add a new one. We'll start from scratch. Just hit the little blue button, hover over any section. Little blue button will add a new section. I'm going to use a regular section for mine today. It's going to prompt you to put in a row, green button for a row. I'm going to put a single column in mine today. Obviously, you make yours your own. And funny enough, we're going to use the accordion module. And there it is by default. It puts in two little accordion items. I'm going to dock this over on the left hand side. Should make things easier to see. Great. Well, if we look here, we've got our items. I'll leave that there and we'll be adding some more in a moment. Next down, we've got the actual toggle icon itself, which is right there. By default, it's a little minus sign. You can put in any icon you want. Let's put a down arrow, perhaps. That'll work for me. There's a huge amount of icons to choose from here. You can put in a search term. You can scroll down here, which I wouldn't recommend because they've teamed up with Font Awesome and there's a huge amount. If you really want to scroll through, hit this little button. It'll pop out a break box where you can scroll through and see a lot more at once. But like I say, there's an awful lot there. So it's a good idea to have something in mind. Next down, we've got a link. Now, I don't particularly want to put a link in here. That's really for the whole thing. And each individual item itself, you can put a link in and take them wherever you want. I'm going to leave that as it is for the moment. Similar with background. I'm not going to put the background in here for a moment. I'm actually going to style it all over in the design. Then we'll come back to backgrounds in a little while. So let's pop over to design there. First thing we see is the icon itself. This one here. I think I'm going to make mine white. Doesn't stand out too well on that, but I'm going to change that color in a moment. If you want to make your icon bigger or smaller, just check the little box there. You can drag it up or down in size, however you wish. Toggle wise. Well, these are all toggles. What happens is you open them and you close them. You toggle them open and close. If we click on this, you've got an open toggle background color. This is an open one on top. I'm going to use the dark color, the 2424 I've been using for this site. As you can see, that gives that open a background color. And for the closed, I'm going to use the default blue that we've been using on this site also. Fantastic. Now you can see that little arrow a lot better on that blue there. If we roll on down, we've got text and that'll do both the title and the content at once. I know you can't see that too well, but if I flip that to center, that's all in the center now. Happy for it to be on the left at the moment. But of course, you can do your title text and your closed title text and body text separately if you want to. So let's go into the title text. I'm going to make that white in color. Of course, you can use any font you want with the Divi. They've got a crazy amount here to audition one. Just click on it, roll over. It'll give you an example. I'm going to leave mine on the default today. But you've got a lot of options there. I will make it a little bit bigger though. I'm going to make it semi bold perhaps. Now let's maybe take it up in size. I think perhaps 20 pixels. That'll work for me. Fantastic. And of course you've got your styles and alignment like you have with any text module. I'm going to leave that just like that. Now you can do the closed text separately as well if you want to. All I'm going to do with that is make it white so it stands out there. If you want to change the font you can do or capitalize uppercase, lowercase, upper and lower case, however you want to there. Again, I'm happy with the way it was. But as you can see, you can have completely different styles for each, if that's what you like. 
Now, as this is a bit of a title text, I am going to give it text shadow. I don't like putting text shadow on smaller text. It tends to make it blurry to me. But if you put a little bit on this title, it just does give it a little more definition there against the blue. And again, all these styling options are completely up to you. Body text, that's okay. I wouldn't mind it standing out a little bit more than that. I don't think I'll use white because that's just a little too loud on the background. I don't mind it for the title there. So let's use perhaps a light gray. That works for me. Great. Moving on there. As I say, I don't really like putting text shadow on smaller text. To, with my eyesight, it just makes it blurry. Sizing. Don't really need to use this for this particular module, but if you do, you can make it bigger, smaller, or taller drag this down what it's doing is making it smaller within the column that it's sitting in and then you can align it where you want within that column i'm happy the way it was with divi if you don't like something you've done select it delete it it'll go back to how it was great spacing this is actually going to add spacing around the content itself for instance if i put 20 pixel well let's up it to 50 perhaps 50 pixels in there in the top you'll see it's pushed that content down by 50 pixels i'm happy with the way it was but if you want to adjust it you can do and i'll do that for my title in a minute i think margin is the space outside here for instance if i put a 100 pixels margin on the top it'll push it down by 100 pixels and with margin you can actually give it a negative value to pull it up as well and overlap elements if I put a negative sign or a minus in front of that, it pulls it up by 100 and it's sitting on top of a little section above there. Again, I'm happy with the way it was. By default, it puts in a little border here and you've got sort of rounded corners option. If you wanted these to be pill shaped, you could put in a high value, perhaps like 50 pixels. And you've got sort of rounded corners there. If you were to put in 50%, you can make them into ovals. A little bit outrageous for me. Let's put that back to how it was. Just delete it. It'll go back to the default. If you've got the chain checked, it's going to do all four at once. If you want to get crazy shapes going on, you can uncheck that chain. Put in whatever you want for whichever side. You get some crazy things going on. You see that quite often on sites. But like I say, I like mine to be fairly linear. So I'm going to put it back to 10 pixels with slightly rounded corners there. Great. Like I say, border, it puts in one by default. I'll leave that as it is in a minute. I might change it in a moment because you can't really see it. It's white on white at the moment. And you've got all the regular border styles and colors here. Solid, dashed, dotted, doubled, etc. Box shadow. That's great. If you've got them separated like this, it's quite nice to have a little box shadow on the bottom. Just gives it that 3D look. I'm actually going to pull these together in a moment so they're sitting on top of each other like our example at the beginning. I'm going to use an inner shadow for this today. And as you can see, it's taken it away from the bottom and it's actually inside our little module there. We've got dark on dark here, so it doesn't make any difference to our open. But the closed one, it gives it a bit more definition. Okay, well, I don't want to use any filters. I don't want to use any transform. We're pretty much where we want to be. So let's go back to our content tab there. And obviously you're going to want to put your own content in there. So let's go in. I'm going to put my title in here. And obviously content down below. When you're happy. We'll move on to the next one. And again, title. And content. I know you can't see it because we've got this one closed at the moment, but if I click that little arrow, there we have it. Great, as I mentioned earlier, I want to have these actually touching each other. So what I'll do is I'll save this to make that happen. I'm going to save the main accordion settings here. Go into the row, green tab for the row. We can go over to design. And then down to sizing, we can use custom gutter widths. If I flip this to on, if I drag it down to zero, or one actually, there'll be no space there. 
that's a little border that we've got going on that I said you couldn't see there. There's actually no space between those. That works for me, or if you want slightly more, drag it out to two. If you want lots, drag it up higher. But like I say, I don't want any space there. Great. So let's go back into our module now. And to make this stand out, I'll just give our section a bit of a background here. Always find background and the content. I'll give it that same image I had before. That seemed to work quite well. Great. Well, I'm going to go and I'm going to add more of our little accordions now. So we'll save our section. We'll go back into the accordion itself. And I'll pause this video because all I'm going to do is duplicate these. Or is it however many you want? I'm just setting the two squares here. And I'll pause this now and go in and change the actual text that we've got in each of these. Okay, well, I've just got my last one done there. I've just changed out the titles and the content within these things. And that's starting to shape up now. We're back in the main accordion settings. I'm going to adjust this border. It's okay, but it's too bright for me. So back in the main accordion settings, I'm going to go back over to our design, to our border. Well, at the moment, this is white. I'm going to click on that white. I'm going to click on the color itself. If we roll this up. It's got a little variegated slider here. If I start pulling this down, it's going to fade that white into the background. It's going to become a lot more subtle. And that works for me. Obviously, design feature is entirely up to you. Well, we're almost there. The only thing I want to change right here is I mentioned earlier that with an accordion, you're always going to have one open. And when the page loads, it's always going to be the top one. So I tend to use this top one for a title. If you don't want any open, you need to use the toggle module rather than the accordion. Very similar, but you can select which one you want open and which one you want close with that one. We'll be doing a video on that. Okay, I'm going to go into this top one now. We're going to decorate it slightly differently. So back to content. Here's our top one. Once in the content, I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to add a background image to this one. And I think I used this happy fella last time. Let's use him again. As you can see, that's popped that in the background there, but it doesn't look too good. So let's blend it with the actual background color itself. So if we put a background color in here, let's use that blue. We'll go back to the image. We'll blend them together by simply rolling down. We've got image blend here. I'm going to multiply the two colors. It's actually multiplied it with a black. That's not my blue right there. Or it's, it's that dark gray that we've got for this toggle area. So if we go over to the design and the toggle, that's this dark color we put in there. I'm going to change both of them to blue. And that's merged that blue with the background image. That works for me. I'm going to shift all this text over into the middle and perhaps give this a little more space. Let's do that. And we can do that right here in the design where we are. We go into the text, put it into the middle. Fantastic. I think that title text I'll bring up as it's the main title. So I'm going to go into the title text. I'm going to roll down, roll this up. That's a decent sort of size. Again, this is entirely up to you. And I want to make it a little bit bigger up the top here. So I'm going to go into spacey on the padding. Maybe try. I think I used 80 on the top. I think I used perhaps 30 or might have been 50 on the bottom. Let's have a look. Obviously, you're going to want to adjust yours to what works for you. I think it was something like that, that works for me. Great. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's save our changes. We'll save the main accordion changes here. As we've been using this sort of default blue, let's just mer merge this section background color with it also. So I'm going to blue tab for the section again, background. I'm going to put a blue color in there. And do the same as we did for that last accordion item. Go to the image. I'm simply going to blend it to multiply. Fantastic. That works for me. I think we're good to go. Hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. And if we roll on down, there's our little accordion right there. If we click on any of these, they're going to open up and show the content. Like I say, that's fantastic. 
way of getting a lot of information in a small area. So there you go guys, there's a brief overview of how to use a fantastic Divi accordion module. Really great for stuff like this. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.